All right, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how to do, how I'm braiding garlic to finish drying. And essentially, it's not too hard if you know how to braid anything, hair or yarn or anything else. It's pretty much the same principle. You hear Mr. Joe, my rooster out there, bragging about his ladies in the hen house. So essentially you just tie the stalks together right above the bulb and then start braiding. You see that I've got like about three strands here that I'm gonna be braiding. And what I'll do is I'll just add in garlic as I'm going and cross it over. So I'm adding it in with some of these small ones and cross it over. Get a little bit more, add it in, and then cross it over. And sort of straighten out your strands right after that. Add a little bit more, and then cross over. And when you think you got enough, then just keep on braiding all the way up. And you'll see it's going to end up becoming like a nice handle to hang, to hang it to finish drying. Yes, Mr. Joe, I hear you out there crowing away, bragging about your girls and all the eggs they're laying. All right, so you get your braid here. And you take a string and you tie it at the top. And this enables you to use this to hang it from the wall. And there you go. Now you notice I didn't cut any of the roots off while I was braiding because it didn't really matter. So afterwards, I just go through and trim them down, give them a haircut. And uh, these will continue to start drying up and you'll get a lot of little dust from the drying dirt and roots. So just be aware of where you're planting them or hanging them up to dry. And there you go.